So the next part of this workshop is a meditation regarding grief. So what I'd like you to do is either sit very comfortably in a chair, get yourself all snug with maybe blankets and a pillow, or lie down, whichever suits. If you wish for privacy, you're welcome to take the video off the, the phone or the laptop while we're doing this. So you just do whatever feels right for you. So I'll just give you a moment. So this meditation is called Grief in the Now. So in this experience, you're asked to allow the feelings of grief to be what they are. All who've grieved deeply understand the grief. Understanding that it comes in waves, moving in, receding, coming forward and then retreating. You can call up experiences and feelings of grief that you've had in the past or you can sit with the grief you are carrying now. Inviting these feelings of grief to rise and then move away can be extremely difficult, especially in early grief. It can even be frightening for some. So if you don't feel comfortable doing some of it, that's okay. But just do what you feel is okay for you. Someone further down the road for grief may feel more comfortable with this experience. Remember, we're all on different journeys. You never have to do anything that you do not feel safe doing. It can be hard to understand why in a world anyone would want to pers purposely call up feelings of grief if they're not there right now. However, this practice can give you a sense of control over your feelings and allow you to see that you can manage intense and difficult feelings when you need to. You may find that purposely creating a safe space and time for this practice will help your ability to allow grief to rise and can help it tremendously in managing grief when it comes to other moments. The chance of grief and the way it comes in a chaotic way is unpredictable, particularly early on when it comes so hard and so fast with no resting space in between. If you wish to practice the meditation with us today, Feel free to picture your loved one in your mind. Bring them to your memory. Visualize them. Allow your mind the freedom of going back in time in a place where your grief was fresh was raw, was tender. You probably know the exact photo, the exact memory, the exact song, the exact sort that brings you that grief for the first time. Either of those things brought grief to you or any of those things. As you remember and you see in your mind's eye those events, Notice how the sorts themselves call forth the feeling. The memories and thoughts about a memory occur in the mind. The feelings rise in the body. You may notice feelings centering in the belly, the heart, the lungs, the throat, the solar plexus. Your arms may ache, your head, and your third eye in between your two eyes may tighten. Your legs may feel weak. You may feel pulled downwards 
towards the earth so you may have the sensation of struggling or trying to find balance. If you feel ungrounded, place your hands or feet on the ground. Or hold something cold in your hand. Take slow breaths, deeply in, deeply out, but gentle. Try to create space in your mind so you can observe this, so you can witness your own experience. What are the thoughts, sorts of feelings that you're feeling? Imagine in front of you is a thermometer to put the heating up and down in the house. A little dial on the wall. When things come hard or tough for you, turn down the dial. When things are disappearing and you want to feel them, turn up the dial. Take note. When you're thinking of your loved one, where in the body you're feeling the sensations. Keep inhaling in and out. Nice breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. Allow yourself time to breathe. Know you are safe in this experience. Notice you're an observer in this experience. You're watching things happening. This is grief. This is how you're experiencing it at this moment. Be with the feeling as long as you need to. And when you feel it's the right time to let it go, take another few breaths and come back into the room. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And we will discuss this now in class, in our workshop. We will have a break to give everybody time to settle. Then after the discussion, we will do some restorative yoga to help us on this journey. Namaste.